chat, Brad. I'm being threatened with um, to be arrested if I don't allow the officer to draw the blood. And Alvin is like the ambulance is trying to get me hard, and I'm on the phone with his supervisor who's threatening me, to, uh, threatened to arrest me. She handed the phone back to me. So I'm going to arrest her. Set, start sending them. Start sending them. Thank you. Bye. Okay. They're trying to draw. My name is Alex. The officer is right here, and I'm trying to turn this in the evening. We don't know where to We have exigent circumstances for a blood draw on a patient that's upstairs. Officer, she is refusing, and my lieutenant says that what, if she doesn't. What department are you with? Salt Lake City Police. Salt Lake City Police. Which I'm sure you'll get to meet my lieutenant soon. And if I don't get to go get the blood, I'm taking her to jail. Okay. I'd rather not do that. I'd rather not do it either.
threatened to be placed under arrest by this officer here. I'm trying to prohibit him from drawing blood on one of my patients who he does not have a warrant for. Hello. Hello. If things still keep going the way they're going, I'm arresting her. For interfering with a criminal investigation. Draw blood on a patient. Okay. I've been told by risk management, the house privacy officer, the house supervisor, and my manager all agree. So here's the thing. If he's conducting an investigation, it's obstructing justice. Okay, I'm just being told what to do by my entire hospital. And I'm being told what to do by my boss. Okay, so. And I'm going to do what my boss says. Okay, well, and I can stand here and say I want to do the same thing. There's no urgency in this. I'd rather just let it work out. I'd rather just try and figure out. He's a fatal, and he's the other driver. He's in, I guess, critical condition in the burn unit. And so the implied consent law says that we can draw blood, and she's preventing it. I'm preventing because that's what I'm told to do by the risk management for the hospital, the hospital officer, privacy HIPAA officer, the house supervisor, and my boss. Yeah, I told you how quickly you should do it. Okay. Thank you very much, Alex. We'll just hang tight. There's nothing urgent. Like, I just, we need to just call. Like, there's no reason that this has gotten as elevated as it has. Okay, so so the police and the university have just shown up and seem to agree with this officer. But I'll be here to hear that he said if this guy's going to arrest me, he's not going to stop him. Second, let's not. We're not doing one thing or another until house soup gets here. Yeah. Yeah, and I've got more of my guys coming up. So. No, that's my job, and anybody who interferes with the arrest, and we don't want to do that either. Through the one guy here. Where at? It's up in Logan. These two officers are threatening to arrest me if I no, don't let them. This officer is threatening to arrest me. He's agreeing with this officer. Um, I've talked to, um, I have the cell phone number. Brad's on the phone, so I've, he's calling Colleen. I've called risk management. I've called, they talked to the um, security privacy officer, and he said adamantly that if the patient is not under arrest and does, he needs to have a warrant signed by a judge that says he can draw right. blood. So he and he doesn't well. have that. And there's that. also the laws that talk about exigent circumstances and implied consent law, which does apply. Okay, I can have you talk to our private officer. Okay, well. But until he says yes, he can't. Okay, she's going to jail. Why? Why? Interfering with the criminal investigation. Okay. Per my watch commander, and I'm not going to argue with him. Okay, this is coming from our leadership. Okay, as well. and it's coming from mine. So we've got two leaderships that can butt heads together later. But I either go away with blood and vials or body and tow. And that's my only choices. I'm, I'm going to follow my boss's instructions. That can is my instructions. Absolutely. I, don't feel I, I, would, I, would, I would like someone to stay with me. I do not want to stay with I'm totally fine as long as Alex is okay. We're good. We're good. This is not the way I wanted this to be. No, it's not the way anybody wants anything to do. No. We're just, we're just all trying to follow our own letters of law. Like you mm -hmm. said, we've got bosses and stuff that are button heads. Yep. Trying to do the best what's for everybody, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Hi, this is Hotel 63 up at the University yeah. of Utah. Yeah, I guess I guess you got cars coming my way. Okay, tell them I'm in the ER. Any idea of an ETA? Okay. Let them know we're in the ER. We, w we were upstairs. We're not now. Okay? Thank you. Right. Hello. What's up, Payne? This young lady right here right now is not free to go about her business. Her watch command, if she does not allow me to go get a blood draw from a guy up in the burn unit, she's going to jail. Okay. Her watch command. They don't want to abide by the implied consent law or exigent circumstances. They want it to be a search warrant. And it's on a fatal crash. The guy's unconscious. So where's the lieutenant? He's coming in. I've talked to him on the phone. She's talked to him on the phone. He was the first one to tell her that if I don't get the blood, she's getting arrested. And then he can talk to her face to face when he does the arrest check. I'm just stating what is will happen. We can both say that, sir. I'm just I'm just a nurse trying to protect the patients and do mm -hmm. what my hospital has obligated me to do. Believe it or not, I'm trying to protect him too. I'm not trying to get him on tri criminal charges. Were. I didn't say you were. I, I'm just trying to do what, innocently what I'm what I've been told to do. Okay. And so I'm am not I. They don't have PC. I talked to Logan. It's their case. We've already discussed that with them. And watch command talk to her and says, no, this is the deal. And she says, nope, this is the deal. He told her if I don't, if, if she interferes in any way in me getting the blood draw, she is to be arrested. So this can't be the first time this has So why is it weird now? You know? I've had run into something similar, but it, uh, they en ended up consenting. I've never gone this far. Sports football. Oh, she's been talking to him on the phone. Were you the only one come up, or are there more? As far as I know, I'm the only one.
so am I. By the way, can I get a, a consent to release form for somebody to send in to get medical records? Uh, I don't have that. Who would I? You get to call medical records. Okay. You should be a phone number to call. I can get your phone number. I can tell it to you. If you could, I'd appreciate it because it would make at least one part of my night better. Uh, that's where we're going. And right now, that's where it's going. One two three nine three or two three five three. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. They might not be open right now, but no, I don't expect them to be. Just uh, call them. They can do whatever they need. I'll call them tomorrow. So I printed this off. I thought I was told to print off. And hold on. Um, Brad, I'm just putting on speaker so you can. So I have this. It says obtaining blood samples for police enforcement from patients suspected to be under the influence. Okay. This is something that you guys agree to with this hospital. The three things that allow us to do that are if you have an electronic warrant, patient consent, or patient under arrest. And neither of those things, the patient can't consent. He told me repeatedly that he doesn't have a warrant and the patient is not under arrest. So I'm just trying to do the, what I'm supposed to do. That's, that's all. So. Okay, so I take it without those in place, I'm not going to get blood. Is that, am, am I fair to surmise that? Okay. I don't know. I have no idea why he's blaming me. I'm just representing. Why are you blaming the messenger, sir? She's the one that has told me no. Yeah, but sir, you're making a huge mistake right now. Okay. Okay. No, we're done. No, no, we're no, no. we're yeah, done. You're sir. under arrest. We're going. Under we're done. You're done.
okay. She can sit in my car I mean, while we're coming. This is unnecessary, man. You're this right. Is, this is my department. And this is completely unnecessary. Completely, completely unnecessary. unnecessary. Okay. She's under arrest. That's fine, but it doesn't have for to be doing like her this. job. Okay. I'm doing what I, my fine. job. That's she fine. does hers. That's fine. Okay. I'm leaving now with her. Okay. Anybody who wants to prevent that, that's your option. He will be taking them. Okay? So, take your hand off her, please. I have hospital administration coming to talk to you. Just please. Why are you so... Please, sir, you're hurting me. Then walk. No, I have no reason to walk. Stop. You're hurting me and insulting me. Please, I can't believe it. Have a seat. Brad, what is going on? You took a pain. University of Utah, about ready to leave. Headed for watch command. You're out in front of the hospital? Oh, good. We're at the ER. I'll come around to you. You can... Yeah, I've got her in my car right now. We're at my car. No, black car. I'm looking for my car. H63. Okay. Thank you. Somebody wanted that. Hi, sir. Hi. Would you like to speak to this young lady? Well, I need to talk to you first, and then I'll talk to her. Okay. Hi, this is Brad, oh, just supervisor again. Hey, they have arrested the burn for oh, well, the on camera off. right here. Can I sit down to her to have you yes. tell him? So, so they're here? arresting her for obstruction. She's called people. They say no. She will not take me up there, uh, and they're, so they're refusing. Um, okay. Chief of Police here too. Can I put you on speakerphone to talk to them? Um, so he, she absolutely will not. Thank you. I have our privacy right. officer on the phone. They're busy. Give me a second. So, me just a second. Well, I mean, yeah, it's good. Okay, let me chat with her for a moment. Yeah. Hey, can you give him a second? He will talk to you. I can promise you that. Give him a second. So, I, I guess I want to clear on the phone. Here's the problem. I don't, I don't no, I, no, 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 see, you're, you're still talking, you were doing it on the phone, too, okay? The problem is this, okay? You're telling me what your policy is, and I appreciate that you have a problem. It's not my policy. No, 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 I know. The, 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 the organization that I work for, this is under, not my policy. I understand that. You're telling me what a policy is. I can a word for a policy. What people, it's what lawyers and stuff put together to prevent liability from coming on the hospital. Now, had you taken the officer up, we could have had it. It's not an issue of me taking it up. I'm also obligated to my patient and to protect them. Okay, the person that you're trying to protect is the victim in a fatal crash. Okay. I've been told. 
have to, okay? But, but, but all we have to do is go up and use the blood, okay? And my point is, there are similar, if we're breaking the law, Can if we're doing wrong, okay? Can you Miller or somebody? Doing, listen to me. If we're doing wrong, there are civil remedies, okay? It's called fruits of the poisonous tree. If we took this blood illegally, it all goes away, all right? So there's civil remedies if we make a mistake. What I'm telling you is we are not making a mistake, okay? I've done this for 22 plus years. I know what the law is when it comes to search and seizure, all right? And what you have done, because your bosses are telling you to, has been to prevent this officer who was called out to do a job to do his job. That's obstructing justice. Okay. okay? I understand you're not trying, but you're succeeding. That's the problem. Okay? And so what we want to do is tell me this. Is it practice for the hospital to drop? Did he come in unconscious? So you can't even answer my question. No, I'm happy to. I don't know. I'm presuming he came on unconscious. Okay. But see, if, do you take blood from him? Okay. Yeah. As soon as they come in, right? Because he's a patient. Okay. We have to protect our patients. I understand that. Okay. If I knew that beforehand, I would have just had told Logan to come and get a warrant and access that blood that you guys have already drawn. Okay. But this is stuff that we can discuss, not when you're telling me no, 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 I'm not going to do it. Yes, you did. When I tried to explain my point, you said it doesn't matter what you say. I'm not letting you go up. No, I did not say that. I specifically said I've been told that you have to have a warrant signed by a judge. Right. And I'm telling you, he has to no. be under arrest. No. And, and I just you. wanted to clarify it with both my house supervisor right. here and the people that were telling me that information. Is this person, do you know, is this person a resident of you? So we're trying to get blood from I have no idea. I don't even okay. know who he is. Problem. So you're, why are you involved in this? Because you don't I'm, have anything to do with because it. Because I'm the charge nurse in the unit that he was admitted. Okay. So and like my this. job is to help understand I where, what we're supposed okay. to do but and you're how. Not, you're not trying to understand. You're trying to tell us how. That's all you're doing. Because I'm trying to explain stuff. And, and, and all I'm hearing is, well, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. No, no, no. And I'm trying to tell you, I understand that that is the policy sure. position. But your policy doesn't affect my legal standing to do their... Yes, there are people coming, and I have... Tracy's coming, Greg. The whole side open, honey. Sir, there's somebody else. Okay, because he's going to tell me what your policy is. I understand what your policy is. I'm trying to tell you what I need legally. Your policy right now is uh, contravening what I need legally, okay? Which I may not need it if you have blood that I can get Logan to come and get a warrant and test for later, okay? But this is all stuff that we should have a conversation with before I'm told no, 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 okay? There's a very bad habit up here of your policy interfering with my law, okay? I am trying to conduct a criminal investigation, step through the process, Okay? And you guys are trying to prevent liability coming on the hospital. And I appreciate that, but those sometimes don't meet and they don't match up. And so I gotta I gotta decide what we're gonna do with this young lady because I I need to find out if this guy has a Utah driver's license. If he does, then we know what's name. I have his name. Yeah. William Gray about how old is William um, Gray.